Lucky Robin and today I am going to be making a low carb pizza casserole type thing um, that I got the basic idea off of uh, Dot to Trot's low carb living um, but I will be using ground turkey or I mean I will be using ground chicken instead of regular sausage and this is just plain ground chicken and I am adding my sausage seasoning to it and I have a video of what goes in my sausage seasoning that I will link to this because a lot of regular sausage has sugar in it so I make my own sausage. Well, it also tends to have other things in it, like preservatives. So there's a few you can find that don't, but I, I just like to play it safe and make my own sausage. So I'm just gonna brown this up. Probably gonna take about 10 minutes and I did put just a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan um, I'm using this uh, olive oil spray from Trader Joe's it just has olive oil that way I can keep the fat pretty low in the sausage Just for my daughter. Um, this isn't going to be a low fat recipe. This is a low carb recipe. Um, so there will be fat in it, but she's going to have uh, turkey pepperoni on hers instead of regular pepperoni and turkey ham instead of Canadian bacon. Alright, I'll come back when that's browned up. Alright, so the sausage is done and it is cooling and draining so we get a little more of that fat off. And then we're going to drop the knife on the floor because that's always fun. Alright, so we're going to slice this onion up. Just a half of a small onion. going to take half of that or a quarter and we're going to mince it well maybe just shy of mince and I have to wear gloves when I chop up onions now because of uh, when I burn my fingers doing the garlic now anything in the allium family is going to irritate uh, the scars on my hand. I am not a knife queen, but it gets the job done anyway. And then the other half of the onion is going to go on top, or the other quarter rather. So this is going to start our sauce. Yeah, all right. Now I've got six little tomatoes here. Not very big. And I'm just going to cut those up. And 
on the smaller ones, I'm just cutting them into eight pieces. And then this bigger one here, probably 12 pieces. And actually, I think that's an inadequate amount, so I will just do three. So in the same skillet that I made the sausage in, not cleaning it or anything because there's a little flavor in the brown bits that are stuck on the bottom of the pan, I'm going to do up the little bit of minced onion. And we just want to do this for about five minutes before we add the garlic. Okay, so the onion has started to caramelize. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. We really like garlic. So uh, you can add less if you don't like garlic so much or leave it out if you don't like garlic at all. Or put in more if you really like garlic. Okay, we're just going to do this for about 30 seconds total and then I'm going to add the tomatoes. one can of organic tomato sauce, 15 ounce, turn the heat down. I'm going to add a tablespoon of dried sweet basil. I know it seems like a lot, but with how we like it, you can put in less. And then we will add 
a teaspoon of oregano. And this is uh, powdered oregano, not leaf oregano. And if you can't find powdered oregano, you can use leaf oregano. Just use a little more. Unless you don't like oregano, and then, you know, alternate it to your taste. going to add a half a teaspoon of parsley, dried of course. I'm not using any fresh herbs in this tonight. Um, there'll be basil on the top of the pizza though. Quarter teaspoon of thyme and a half teaspoon of marjoram. Now you could also just put in a tablespoon or two of Italian seasoning, which I would normally have done, but it's gone on walkabout and I have no idea where it went. It might actually be up in mom's kitchen. All right, and then we're just going to let this simmer for, oh, a couple more minutes and then the sauce is done. Now, if you'd like a tangier sauce, you can put a tablespoon or two of uh, tomato paste in this. And I'm just going to add some pepper. And we like a lot of pepper, so this is to your taste, of course. And salt. Perfect. All right. There we go. Sauce is done. All right. So I've sprayed the casserole dish with a uh, little olive oil, and I'm just going to break the sausage up a small. It's had plenty of time to cool. And we're just layering this on the bottom of the pan. I just want to press it down in there good. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to spread my sauce. Oh, this smells amazing. Yeah, I thought I was going to have some left over, but this is actually perfect. All right, now on top of this, I am putting some mozzarella.
and you can put as much or as little mozzarella on this as you want. There we go. Now we're going to put on our Canadian bacon. These are the little uh, pepperoni sized Canadian bacons that Hormel makes. I'll leave that in without. My daughter can't have pork. I know if I don't put that much pepperoni on it, everyone's going to ask for it, so ask for extra, so, or why I didn't put on extra. All right, and then turkey pepperoni. For my daughter. And turkey ham. Get a little red onion. I 
And yeah, I should be wearing the gloves for this part too, but it's not currently releasing the juices and yeah, I'll regret it. But I'll get them washed off real quick. basil right on top. And even though these usually get charred up pretty good, uh, they still taste wonderful. And this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes since the sausage is all cooked it's basically the veg and the cheese that needs to cook here We're going to give this a taste test. The kids have already told me it's fantastic. So we'll see. Try to get a little bit of everything in this bite. Mmm. Oh. Wow. That tastes just like pizza. Um, well, obviously minus the crust, but that's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy that Dot to Trot put up this recipe today because it inspired me to make my own. And wow, so good. Thank you.